Okay, here's a little update on my crab attack. It's been about a couple of days or so since I brought them home from the pet store. Um, this is what it looks like so far. See, it's a bit misty. I sprayed it earlier today and whatnot. So, yeah. I think, um, here's the food. I just added some more of this stuff. Krill. So far, I've only really seen two crabs, but mostly this one crab that always pops up comes around even during the day. He's more braver than the others. I don't know what it is. But I've seen him actually eat from here. It's so cute how they eat. I've caught um, my um, the crab that was in that shell, uh, um, switch shells, but I didn't want to startle scare him, so I couldn't record it. Um, there's the water and everything like that. That stuff. That black stuff is um, uh, worm castings or something like that. I don't know. But that black stuff, when I woke up this morning, I saw a trail of it leading all into all the way into that uh, bush area, uh, into the plant area. So maybe there's a crab hiding behind there or something like that. But I had to clean that up because they like, made a whole trail of it from leaving the food bowl. So that was kind of cute. Um, I've had one crab constantly looking at new shells, the one that's always out and about. He's in his shell like that one, but he hasn't found a shell that suits him, so I went back online and just ordered like this, a huge order from Hummer Crab Patch with new shells, bigger shells and whatnot. I think these shells might be too small, so um, I'm uh, going to change their shells and hopefully, I'm not going to waste money, hopefully um, he'll find a new shell more than he, he's not finding the shell he needs. So I bought like 10, 13 new shells for all of them. I have had successfully got two hermit crabs uh, switching their shells from the the selection that I bought. Um, another one switched his shell, but he actually switched into uh, the shell that the second crab switched out of, and he switched into the uh, an older crab such older shell. So um, I've had three crabs switch shells, but one crab still hasn't done it. So he's been looking and looking for new shells and haven't found anything. So. I'm going to get rid of these shells and, um, you know, get some new ones. I just leave that one there for decoration. That's a shell my biggest crab came in. And I just did that there for decoration, so whatever. But yeah, once they're all out of their older shells, there's only, like, uh, two that haven't switched out of their older shells, I'm going to collect the older shells and um, clean them and rinse them and uh, keep them as a collection sort of thing. And uh, that these are the shells my baby crabs first came in but yeah these I think are too small every time I wake up uh, these shells are all over the place because the crabs are trying to look for a new shell I have no idea where they hide um I had one in the Coco Hermie knot one that comes out um a couple are in there I think but the big ones I don't know where they go maybe behind there maybe they're underneath maybe they dug it underneath I don't know I never I haven't seen the older one since he, um, the big one since he switched out of that shell, so they're still hiding and everything. I haven't picked them up. I haven't done anything like that yet. I'm going to wait, like, maybe until the end of next month. Maybe I'll wait, wait another month or and a half or so, and, you know, until the crabs are comfy. I bought some treats from the Hermit Crab Patch that are supposed to be good, like, uh, that they've had a lot of good uh, reviews on them. So maybe if I give them more treats and, um, whatnot, maybe they'll get, come out more. And, um, yeah, so, I don't know, I'm hoping, uh, with the new food stuff I bought them, they'll come out more and stuff like that. I don't know where they hide. And, uh, so, yeah, it's been a couple of days. Um, maybe the one that comes out a lot that is actually eating, maybe he's getting ready for molt, who knows. Um, but, yeah, I'm just hoping that the shells, uh, will come in soon. And I'll show you that will be, um... Hermit Crab Package uh, Part 3. I have two other uh, Hermit Crab Packages that I did, hauls that I did, and this will be the third one, and then I won't have another one for quite some time. So, um, check back my video. Uh, I did the priority mail, so it should get here like within a week or so, by the end of the month, but hopefully. And um, I'll have a new shell shop and whatnot. And I'm not sure how often you're supposed to do 100% cleaning. Um, I would like to add some more substrate. I have one more block of uh, Eagle Earth, and uh, maybe I'll put that on top, but like I said, I don't want to disturb them. 
I don't know if they're molten, they're underneath the ground. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave them alone for now. But see any of them in there? There was one in there earlier. Maybe if I see them eat or come out at night, I'll try and get a picture of them. And we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm excited about the haul that I have coming because I ordered literally about 20 items. I'm trying to figure out what sizes. I'm, I'm just nervous that the sizes are going to be too small or they're going to be too big. And I just, I don't know. I've been doing some research on shell sizes. So it's, you know, I'm really hoping that the other two will get the proper cell sizes. But they're all natural shells that I'm ordering. So yeah. Anyways, that's my little update. And I hope these guys will come out at night. Um, I really want to figure out if they're the one that I see all the time, the male or female. But like I said, I don't want to pick it up yet. Uh, he's still very skittish. Whenever he you know, sees me coming really close, he hides in his shell. But like, he's still nervous and scared. So I'm going to leave him alone. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's my little update. Um, check back for more videos. And talk to you later. Bye.